Welcome to a quick tutorial tip from PH Studios. Before we get into the menu system and the screen system, I discussed screen manager a little few tutorials back. And somebody had a few questions regarding how to change a current made code and add the screen sort of around it. So kind of taking the code that's all in game1.cs and adding them to the screens. So let me just demonstrate that for you here. Now I need to go to the forums for this because I have not released it on the main website. So go to the forums, go to PH Studios content, content, then XNA. So just click the XNA link underneath content and you'll be right there. Then click the basic control time sample and download it now. So let's take a look at that. Extract it. Okay. Run it. Minimize it. Now let's go to the screen manager. And you want to go to the advanced technique series. It's a premium content folder for now until I release it to the public. And then we're looking for the sample in the intro screen because that'll have the screen manager and an intro screen added to you. So let's open that. Extract all. Extract. Exit out of there. Open it up. Okay. So now we have a basic screen manager where it's just a logo screen and a play screen. And you can add a menu screen after this, after I do the tutorial on it. But right now, if you run the game, it'll do the logo screen and then it will start the play screen. So now, if we look at the movement one complete source, which is actually the time motion, it's a full working sample. And if we press the enter key it'll slow down time and reverse time depending on what we want and let's say we want this in a play screen we want to take everything inside the game one.cs and move it to the screen system that we have here and that's the play screen that's what we are worried about so you can delete most of the stuff in here mostly the font and vector 2 unless you want to keep fonts and just leave those there but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to delete those and the message. So basically, just want to leave the constructor, the transition on time, transition off time, the initialize. You can delete the screen message because there is no variable anymore. You can delete the viewport if you want, since you won't really need it. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the entire code inside the initialize. Delete everything inside the load content if there is something else. So I just delete the font and just leave content content is equal to screen manager dot game dot content. This will be similar to our low content on here. We'll just use the lowercase content because we'll get a reference from the content in the screen manager. And the unload, just delete that. Updates, fine. Removes, fine. And then draw, we can delete everything in there. So I'm just going to delete here. Since we will be drawing on this screen, I'm just going to delete the draw we had before. So now let's go to the movement one complete and start copying stuff from there. So all the current stuff that is needed is the time all the way up to the texture. You do not want the sprite batch and graphics. And you just move that in the same place above the constructor. And if it's not like in the keyboard state, you will need to use the using Microsoft.xna.framework.input. Now for the constructor, you do not need to worry about these. These are added to the screen manager. 
for initialize copy everything except for the base dot initialize unless you have a it's a derivative of another screen then you only want base dot initialize for the load content just copy the player is equal to content oops but it's going to be lowercase content unless you want to change the that to capital C which either way doesn't matter that's just reference at local variable for the unload content you can unload player is equal to null and update you want to copy everything except for the if gamepad .get state all that line that this dot exit you do not want that and you do not want yeah you want to keep the base dot initialize which is already in there or base dot update so all that stuff then copy the entire check bounds method since that has nothing different it's just a quick checking except it's complaining about graphics device that viewport dot width so in order to get away from that we just say we just create a viewport object and it's a screen manager dot game dot or screen manager dot graphics device dot the viewport and then just replace the graphics device dot v with the lowercase v and there we have it now for the draw just replace this with the one that's currently empty and let's press F5 to see if we missed anything and it will crash because we didn't load the player texture so once we add that in it should work fine so let's see if I can so just go to your content folder inside of the extracted folder you just use and drag to the screen one into the content and it should work that way so now let's see if everything works fine there's the intro screen, now it's transitioning off. Inner sample works, and it even works on the HD resolution. Because we used the viewport. So, that's how you change from a game1.cs to a play screen. The thing you need to worry about is, when you want to use a content manager, you need to get the reference from screen manager dot game dot content and create a local reference to that and then use it like you would on the game one dot cs also for the viewport you can get that from screen manager dot graphics device dot viewport and create a local reference that way and finally the sprite batch you can get that from screen manager dot sprite batch and you can create a local reference that way now if you want to enhance this where you just want to say screen manager dot viewport and screen manager dot content you can create your own properties inside of the screen manager so public viewport viewport and then we'll just do get graphics device dot viewport so you just do the back end, not the screen manager, but the stuff after that dot, and just return that. And that's how you just do the properties. Now you can just say screen manager dot viewport, and then screen manager dot content manager. There we go. 